Um, well, I'm really pleased we got the win. Uh, Vanderbilt been playing really well coming into the night, or this afternoon, I should say. We're very, very concerned about them. And, uh, you know, I thought we jumped out on them early with our defense. I thought that Andy and actually the, the group we brought off the bench, the first group sub, built a nice lead for us and really did a nice job. Uh, you know, Cameron Matthews, Garcia, uh, you know, Cam Carter came off the bench. So we, we had good minutes out of our bench tonight. And um, I thought that, uh, you know, the uh, defending Pippen is so difficult. You could see why he was the preseason player of the year going into the league uh, this year. And uh, he was just spectacular and so hard because they got shooters all around him. And he's so good at making decisions and so smart so intelligent, but I thought, uh, you know, both Tolu and Iverson gave us great uh, performances today offensively, and I thought Tolu was better today defensively in uh, contesting shots and, uh, you know, did some good things for us. So I'm really pleased for our players to get, you know, back to 8-8 uh, eight and eight and be on uh, at least the 500 side here going into our last two games. Paul Jones going to start with a couple. Coach, a couple questions. Uh... Obviously, Tolu had to come off the bench today and uh, kind of explain that. But also, uh, what was it like from a confidence standpoint to see your team make nine or ten free throws down the, the last minute to, to actually be able to close out a game? Yeah, that was great. We really did a good job from the foul line. And, uh, you know, I mean, Tolu had a few misses. He was six for 11 that were right there. You know, he could have easily been eight for 11. Uh, anytime an Iverson ever misses, which happened in the first half, I'm shocked because I thought DJ's free throws were big down the stretch there in that last minute. And uh, Garrison made some big foul shots too. Uh, I didn't start uh, Tolu today because he was late. And so it's just simply that. And, uh, you know, he, he did a good job coming off the bench. Staff, go ahead for a couple. Yeah, with Tolu there, was that late to a practice, late? He was late to the uh, you know pre, pre you know the pregame practice here. It starts at ten thirty in the morning, uh, and we're always here an hour and a half, taped and ready to go before the game. No big deal. And I was you had mentioned there that the numbers that Pippen put up today. I know uh, you know him going against Iverson. They're both you know, towards the top in, in scoring for the SEC. What's it kind of like watching the two of them go at each other, and, and how do you think you know Iverson matched up? I know you know Pippen had thirty two, but but it seems like you guys were able to kind of shut down everything else around them. You know, we did a good job on guys like Studi, who didn't who didn't score tonight, and, and Robbins, who's really good. He played great in their last game against Alabama, only had three. So those were a couple key guys. that were, and, and, and Thomas didn't score. He killed us last year here. So uh, it's just tough when uh, you got one guy, you're letting him get 32. And, I mean, he, and he earned them. I mean, he's just one heck of a player, makes his foul shots, you know, plays most of the game. And, I never even entered my mind that they're two of the top scorers in the league. That doesn't mean anything. What it means is winning and losing. Tanner, go ahead again. Just a reminder, uh, raise your hand function to queue up your questions for Coach. Tanner. Hey, Coach, over to the line. I'm pulling double time the next one today. You said the other night, you know, uh, it looks like it's win the SEC tournament to get in for this team. How big is a win like this when that mindset is in play? Actually, what I said was that uh, – most likely, we'd have to win the uh, SEC tournament to get in, but there's a possibility if we won out in the regular season and we got to the finals of the tournament, that means we'd have at least three quad one wins uh, between Auburn and two in the tournament that, that maybe we could slip in. Now, what was the question? I'm sorry. Just how big is a win like this over a conference opponent there uh, yeah. when that mindset is in? Well, mind. every win is huge, Tanner. It's so big, and uh, this league is so good. I think it's the best league in the country, and it's especially top-heavy. When you look at the, the, the uh, you know, and, and we've been right there. I mean, you know, we beat Arkansas at home. We're down one with two minutes to go. Uh, we're in a one-point lead with five minutes to go. It's Tennessee. That's what's so Frustrating is to be so close with some of those, you know, top teams. And so hopefully we have a chance to get over the, the, the hump, beating one of them uh, here come Wednesday night. Back to staff for a couple more. 
Yeah, the U.S. had gone up 11 there with about, I think it was eight minutes to go, and then they cut it down to two points. I mean, what's it like kind of seeing your team? Did you need to say anything to them, or did they kind of understand that? Oh, no, no. We, I needed to say something to them. And we, first of all, we had a 10-point lead, and Tolu fouls a guy, you know, trying to discourage the ball on the, at the elbow. I mean, it was just a crazy foul. So it's just giving them two shots because they're in the one-on-one. Really, really ill-advised thing to do with the lead. You're always teaching your players about the time left in the game and what the score is. Then they score the two. Then they press us, and Andy pushes the ball and throws it out of bounds because he's getting sped up by the, the press rather than just pulling it back out. And get, they, they, We did a good job scoring our half-court sets. We didn't need to be in a hurry. They came down and scored again. Then Shaq against the press gets sped up and tries to throw some crazy lob that sails out of bounds. And all of a sudden, now it's back to three or, or four. So, and, and you know, you, you just uh, got to stay solid for 40 minutes. Right. And then what did you kind of see from your team there after they cut it to two to kind of settle the things down and be able to pull out the win? You know, I thought we showed some real toughness. We, we uh, got it inside. Tolu made some free throws. Uh, Tolu did a good job. Uh, we were patient offensively. And, I was just glad we were able to squeak it out. I mean, it, it, you're right, though, to ask the question. I mean, to be up 10 or 11 with eight to go, you, you know, we should. And that's the first thing I talked about with our team when I went there. We got to handle leads better and understand time and score.